current global trends related to peace, human security, and sustainability of people and planet are negative. There are more conflicts, they last longer, and they are deadlier, including for civilians. The global power relations are changing, which makes conflicts more likely, and the global arms race is on again. All over the world, people feel insecurity. Technological changes undermine job security, increase security risks, and make our future unpredictable. The implementation of the 2030 Agenda and Sustainable Development Goals slowed, halted, or reversed, and respect for human rights and rule of law are backtracking. Trust in public institutions is declining and demands for more civic engagement are increasingly met with physical attacks and the use of force. Climate change continues with disastrous consequences for people and the planet. Finally, because of our lifestyle and disrespect of the nature, future pandemics are becoming more likely and deadlier. To respond to rising challenges and uncertainty, to protect and promote peace, human security and sustainability, better global regulation is becoming increasingly important. However, we are facing a major paradox. The UN as the most important global regulation instrument has never been weaker. This almost eight years old organization should be better adjusted to the changing environment opportunities and threat. However, the reform of the United Nations is very difficult to achieve because of its charter provisions requiring two thirds majority of member states and consensus of all five permanent members of the Security Council. However, every crisis is also an opportunity in conditions of crisis, innovative and radical solutions can be more uh, easily accepted. In uh, the document that some colleagues mentioned, our common agenda, the UN Secretary General listed uh, low hanging fruit opportunities for the UN's rapid improvement, but he also uh, indicated a need uh, for a vision of long-term desirable transformation uh, of uh, the United Nations. Uh, I think that our best chance uh, to move in that direction is uh, the summit of the future envisaged for 2020, 2024. Uh, uh, to be really successful, and to be transformative, uh, what should uh, a new vision of the United uh, Nations look like? Colleagues, we've reached the end of one route and we need to find another. Uh, we must not limit ourselves to extinguishing uh, fires. We need a new vision. Besides organizational, we need also radical cultural change in sense of different relationship with other people and nature. We need a horizontal vertical strengthening of solidarity as well as the replacement of individual and national egoism and ruthless struggle by more cooperation and compromises. We need more inclusion, tolerance and human rights as well as more positive attitude towards the planet Earth and biosphere. We need more vertical solidarity with respect to future generations and greater responsibility for uh, the world we live. Uh, decisions on the local, national, regional and global level should involve young people as much as possible. Uh, cultural change should also include a shift from uncompromising competition to seeking compromises. Strengthening uh, horizontal solidarity is also necessary both within and between states. This includes reducing economic inequalities, gender parity and universal availability of services such as health and education, which represent uh, human rights. Uh, 
new technologies in practice create winners and losers. Solidarity between them is prerequisite for social cohesion and uh, success of transition. As far as organizational change is concerned, states should delegate a wider range of their powers to the UN and other global and regional mechanisms. Uh, now, finally, let me say something more about Peace Building Commission, PBC, the body uh, that uh, Croatia chairs this year. Currently, its main task is to support peace building activities in post-conflict countries and to provide more coherent UN action by advising Security Council and General Assembly and strengthening the peace and development nexus for its bridging role to the economic and social council. The PBC is ideally placed for conflict prevention in general, as well as addressing cross-cutting issues such as climate change, women, youth, future generations, and artificial uh, intelligence. The PBC's role should be strengthened and its mandate enlarged, focusing more broadly on prevention and addressing its root causes. To be able to address root causes, it is essential that the PBC establishes stronger and more systematic links uh, with the World Bank, regional financial institutions, and multilateral development banks. Uh, due uh, to shortage of time, I will also mention that on 22nd of September, we are having a ministerial PBC uh, meeting. It will be the highest level PBC meeting ever, and its deliberations will feed into the preparatory process of the Summit of the Future. Uh, some ideas on the improvement of peace operations will also feed into the peacekeeping review uh, scheduled uh, for 2022. PBC could oversee a new generation of light footprint, civilian sustainable peace operations aimed to address root causes and prevent conflicts. Dear colleagues, thank you for your attention and I wish you great success with this highly important conference. All possible reforms that I sketched heavily rely on support of academia as well as of civil society in general. Colleagues, let us work together and be agents of change for a better and more sustainable world.